Hi guys, Be Rich here, and thank you for joining me on my Be Rich Beauty page as we sip mm, and see how to do today's makeup. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can make sure you're in the loop for us to always sip and see together. Okay, enjoy the video. So we're gonna do male grooming today. And so we are sipping and we're gonna see how to execute male grooming. Cause I need it. What are we sipping on? This is Prosecco. Because you love a good Prosecco. I do. Mm -hmm. I love a good Prosecco or champagne. Um, the bottle looks like this. It's called Gianni Russo. Um, and I liked it because it looked like the Godfather, and so it's kind of tasty. Mm -hmm. Tastes like pears, nice and fruity in the mouth. Um, everybody, this is DJ Richie Sky. Hi. Um, DJ Richie Sky, tell everybody who you are. Tell them a little bit about why male grooming is so important for you right now. Well, um, I've been on, I, I'm a DJ, for those of you who don't know. And a really good one, actually. Um, I've been on Bravo on a show called Stripped. I was also on a morning talk show in I think this is probably where I first began to really interact with you about male grooming because Absolutely. being on television every day was like a little bit stressful in terms of getting ready. You mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you can't just look. You can't really just wake up like this <laughs> and just hop on television. No. So it takes it would take me about at least 30 minutes, I think, to get ready yeah. in the mornings at, when we were at the show in the dressing room. And I got to tell you, first of all, let me just say this. I was using concealer all over my face. But you know, we'll talk about that. It's okay if you manipulate it correctly. And I don't ahead. know if I was manipulating it correctly. I, don't, I saw what you used I, to look I, like, <laughs> so I don't think you were manipulating it correctly either. However, by the time I got on camera, though, I look, I look decent. You look, yeah, but that, I think decent. they had a, I think they had a, a, a good looking filter on the and lots of lighting, like you look all drag so race type of lighting. It was, I, I ended up looking okay, but. At the end of the day, um, I left the talk show, and now I'm on YouTube. So yes. even still, it's on camera every, at least every Monday through Friday. So right. it's like, you know, what do I, how do I make myself look good? But I don't want to look overly done. Absolutely. You know? I still want to look natural. But here's the thing I love about male grooming, though. Like, I feel like male grooming is taking its own life. Yeah. Um, men are taking more interest in how their physical presentation look yep. when they walk out the house, whether it's their beard and there's beard oils out there. People are taking, of course, like men in their haircuts and, and or beard grooming, mm -hmm. looking really dapper with their clothing. And I think it's now migrating into skin. And when yes. I think about some, of, even some of my favorite like male celebrities, um, whether they're on a red carpet or a television show or even in person appearances, there's something happening. It's not just absolutely naked skin. Yeah, there is male grooming happening. I think the thought is also, too, that if you don't work in the entertainment industry, you probably don't necessarily realize this. Right. But most of the guys, if you see them on press tours and stuff like that, they're getting a light. A light uh, beat. A light beat. Absolutely. They're getting something done to either minimize sweat or oily skin just to kind of make them look. Well, even out the complexion. Right, right. That right. all of us were born this way. And a lot of us resisted it. At, at, I resisted it at first because right. I was like, I, you know, I want to make sure I look my best, but I don't really want to be putting on makeup outside of being in front of the camera for work. Right. But then you think about it, you're going to be photographed you, and people are going to share these photos. They're going to end up on Getty Images. So you're like, oh my God, like I look horrible. You want the best version of yourself and on Getty Images. That one bad photo and I have one. Do that, you really? Yes. I'm and I'm like, <laughs> Sorry. And I'm like, you know what? Never again. Okay. I will be prepared. That's very fair. Very, very fair. Um, and I think to your point, it's about doing it in a way that looks authentic mm -hmm. to you. Um, that doesn't have to look like you're about to step on stage for a theatrical play. Right. But uh, there is um, ways to get there. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about easy ways to get to male grooming. Um, that it looks authentic. So even if you're not on television, if you just want a better version, maybe it's you know going out a, a night on the town with your friends, a first date, and you just want to look really polished, this still works for you. And uh, that's what I love about male grooming. One of the things that does happen though when you wear it every day, 
I think what I, I didn't expect this was that then when I would go out on the weekends, I would be like, oh, I look real basic. Right. <laughs> You'd be like, wait, can we add a little face tune to this? Right. You're like, I need and a little I don't want to do that. I don't right. want to be that person that's adding so much face tune to everything that you and can't three tell. Filters. Who, right. I don't want to do that. Right. And a little bit is okay, but a lot is like, mm, then you can't even see the features. I agree. So are you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. But can we just sip and see real quick? Let's Let's sip. sip. Mm -hmm. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. And we're going to see what the first step is. We're going to talk about skin. And skin is so important because no matter what you're doing, male or female, if you do makeup without proper skincare or attention to your skin, um, it's not going to just, it's not going to look as best. So right. I think most importantly, it's about understanding the type of skin you have so you can understand what you need best to treat your skin. So quick question for you, Richie's guys. Do you know what type of skin do you have? I can tell you what I feel like. Okay, tell me what you feel like. Speak on it. <laughs> I feel Let's like it's see. a combination of extremely dry or okay. extremely oily. <laughs> um, either or, or, do you feel like you have both of those happening at the same time? I, sometimes it's 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 both. I don't know. It's very weird. Well, okay. So let's be real. So. Um, a couple of things can affect your skin type, right? So where you live, what you're drinking, what you're consuming, your environment, and genetics, right? So what I like to do is after I cleanse my face, I like to kind of like see like what my face feels like. If my face feels really tight, maybe there's some oil, um, dry spots. If my face feels normal, I can t you're probably normal to oily. Do you pat dry your face after you get out of the shower? After I... So I... Yeah, actually. You know, sometimes I air dry my face. Yeah. Sometimes I pat dry my face. So I'm in a hurry, I pat dry. I'm only discovering the pat dry because I'm, just okay. okay. I'm so used to just wiping it real quick. Mm -hmm. But since I just got this nose ring, she, the lady told me that I should pat dry my so face. So you're patting it? Yes. Okay. So patting, does it, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Does it feel slightly oily? Does it like feel slightly... Like up here always feels oily. Okay. Maybe I should get Botox. I think we all should get Botox. I think Botox is just, everybody should have Botox. That wouldn't move if you have Botox. I know, that's what I'm saying. I feel like. Side note, we all need Botox. Look, <laughs> you see that? Look, horrible. okay, <laughs> not to get off track. <laughs> so let me feel your face. It's oily. But you're kind of, okay, so when I say dry, the face feels a little tight. I feel like it feels like texture. I'm gonna use the word almost like, maybe like sandpaper is a way to describe it. Oh my God, my it's face not, feels like sandpaper. Everybody calm down. That's just a word that you can use to kind of describe what it feels for the face to be dry. We'll sip and see, but let's see. So it's a little bit firmer, tighter, sandpaper-ish through here. Um, soft and smooth and supple through here, down the bridge of your nose. Oh, your nose feels like the, your cheek area. So your nose is dry too. And when I look real close, your skin is flaking. So your nose is dry. So with that being said. But I also, I, well, I'm also spraying it constantly with salt water. Well, then that's the reason why, because yeah. of your nostrils yeah. and your nose ring. So your combination, mm -hmm. oily through here, maybe dry through here. Most of us a combination, um, which combination just means that you have more than one skin type present at the same time, right? So what I would recommend is, tell me what you do to wash your face now. Well, currently I use- <laughs> You look so defeated I, already. <laughs> I use, I use there's, soap. There's no judgment. Whatever soap I can find. Uh, we typically use like Dove or something like that. And I'll just wash it with a wash rag. So the same soap you use on your elbows and your knees is the same soap you're putting on your face? No. Okay. Um, the more you know. What about moisturizing? How do you moisturize? Oh, well. I use this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's for those that can't see that. First of all, I need to sip real quick so y'all can see this craziness. Yeah, <laughs> I can't take it. Crazy. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so he's using Palmer's cocoa butter. I've heard a lot of guys Heels. use this. Probably. You know, honestly, a lot of men, especially when it comes to male grooming, really don't understand the difference in the importance of good cleansing and moisturizing. So the the skin on our face is completely different than the rest of our body and it has different needs. So you definitely want a cleanser that's gonna be designed for your face. It doesn't have to be a really expensive cleanser. Um, obviously I like a good medium range cut type of cleanser and moisturizer. What does that mean? Um, well, it just kind of depends on what your pocket can afford. Gotcha. So okay. if that means that 
maybe you're new to this and your pocket can afford only an entry level, then there's some really great brands that you can start with at your local like um, pharmacy. Um, if your pockets can afford a little bit more, then maybe you can go to your Sephora okay. and find like a good brand that works best for you. Okay. Um, and I know that you're open to things like that. Yeah. So I, for me, knowing that you're kind of combination, I love like Clinique is really great for men. This is a liquid facial foaming um, cleanser. Um, they also have a really great like Clinique gel lotion. It's super hydrating. I like gels. We live in Miami, so it gets really, really hot and humid here. So I like things to like immediately absorb and leave no residue behind. So all of these things are great. So I know your face is clean. Let's start with some moisturizing. So give it a pump or two in your hand. Okay. More? Uh, this, that's good enough. Perfect. Rub it in, make it nice and thin. And, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Start at the center, beloved. Oh, okay. <laughs> you went straight to the forehead and he's like, my forehead's oily, I wonder why. Oh. All right, so go straight through the center and yes, move up. Oh. So we want to move in and move up so that way we don't work and get with gravity, right? So you want to rub it in till all um, okay, gets absorbed. It's Another question for you. On a scale of one through 10, um, how comfortable would you be in using an eye cream as well? I would love it because I feel like through here, mm -hmm. I actually want to, like, listen, I really want to get Botox here. No, you need or fillers filler. is, that, fillers. is that what it is? Yeah, okay, yeah filler. because the fillers help with the filler, depth. Filler, because I feel like I have a depth there. Okay. I love but, that you're so open about what you want to get oh, done yes, to your face. I, listen, I feel like if you don't like it, fix it. I agree and or allegedly fix it and just don't tell anybody. All right, so let's do some eye cream next, okay? okay. So let's sip and see about a good eye cream that we're gonna do next. Eye creams are great because they'll help with moisture. Sometimes you can be a little bit more dehydrated or if you have texture, eye creams help to like minimize texture, whether it's adding more moisture, what plumps up the skin or optical diffusers, which helps to blur the skin. I'm all about a good RuPaul Drag Race season one type of blurring. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like a good eye cream that makes you look real blurry I've never underneath. I've seen an entire episode of that show. Sorry. I haven't. I like what he does though. So let's move on to the eye cream, shall okay. we? All right, so I like a good eye cream that's gonna help to depuff, smooth out lines. So I have one right here. So let's add a little to your tip of your finger. What I like to do, just a pinch. Actually, you know what? Let's move that to your ring finger. Give me your ring finger. Perfect. All right, so on your ring finger, I like to do one of these to thin it out. Start inward because this is where you have the most concern and the most depth. Okay. And then you're gonna work your way out. And you're just gonna massage it until it absorbs. In and out, in and out. I feel like I'm at the eye doctor one or two, wax two on, or on. three. Wax on, wax on. All right, so you got it? Yes. All right, nice. And I I can see a difference already. Yes, can you leave that here? I, um, maybe, allegedly. Yes. All right, so <laughs> once you have your skincare on, there's a product that I absolutely am in love with. And it's great if you're oily. Um, and it's good if you're a combination as well because it's like a powder in a liquid form. Mm -hmm. And I use it underneath my makeup before I do male grooming. And I also use it on top as well for like quick touch-ups. Okay. And it's actually a product by MAC Cosmetics. It's called Skin Refined Zone. And this product helps to instantly mattify and minimize the pairs of pores. And it's all types of goodness. So what okay. I'm gonna do is give you a little bit of that. Am I doing ring fingers again? No, we're gonna use the, pointed this finger. is the index finger, the pointed finger. I'm gonna okay. point at you. So you, all, you, all you need is a little, like okay. that. Grab your two pointed fingers together. And you can use one finger first, just through the forehead. Like that? Yep, sideways. You can even put it on your bald head if you like. <laughs> and a magnifying bald head. I need <laughs> more. The whole two, <laughs> right? And then take the other finger and you can go, avoid your nose ring, but you can go like on the nose to help avoid and absorb oil and through the center as well. And that'll help to minimize pores, not underneath your under eye area, but like oh, okay. through the center, through here. Yeah, where we get a little oily. Perf. See, okay. you like a Denny mat, like come closer. 
Look how like matte he is. He's like velvety mm. now. All right, cool. So you ready for the next step? Ready. All right, let's sip and see what comes next. All right, so we're gonna use a wand concealer. This is a very long wearing concealer by MAC. It's 24 hours of wear, um, but I like it because for male grooming, it's super convenient. It has a dull fit, oh, it has a dull fit applicator like this. So all you have to do is like dot it on in the areas where you wanna conceal and blend it out with your favorite brush. So here you go. Looking at yourself, where do you feel like you wanna even out any redness or color? All right, we won't go there just yet. Let's, let's only focus on the parameters of the face and then we'll do under eye. Perfect. Add a little right there. Where, right here? Right there. Perfect. Do a little through the center. Where? Like right through here. Through here? Perfect. And yeah. then, do, yep, replicate the same thing on the other side. Perfect. That's and it? you can actually do a little right there. So let's start there first and then blend out, okay? Okay. So you look like a spotted DJ Richie Sky. Mm. <laughs> All right, so I like using a brush, medium size, nothing too big, nothing too small, so you're not working too hard. And so what you'll do is you'll use this brush and you'll start and just like, and start to blend out. Mm. So blend out and down, up and away. Am I doing this right? You are actually. Yes. And if you find that it gets stuck, you can do a little bit of a side to side sweeping motion as well. Okay. But you see so, how that disappears into your skin? Mm -hmm. That's how you know this is the perfect color for you. And it still looks like skin. What were you about to say? Well, I was about to say, since I'm doing this into a camera, mm -hmm. it's different than a mirror, so to speak. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm, I'm doing it correctly. But I feel like for the person who does not know, and that's never done this before, yeah. especially using a brush, because I told you I use a sponge. I know. And I wanted, and I told you that I wanted to use this because I did not know how it would turn out. It's amazing to me that it actually does look, it's so easy. It looks easy yeah. and brushes aren't that complicated. You know, the brush is designed to do the work. You just need to put a little manpower and a little elbow grease behind it. Yeah. And so it's just that, it's super easy. So let's move up here. Okay, how do I, what do I do here? So in this section, you'll go side to side and you'll brush up towards your bald head. Is this right? Yeah, but go sweeping motion first, a little bit more. Perfect. Yep. Come down here and do side to side and buff up as well. Perfect. You're getting comfortable with this brush. Oh, yeah. I need that brush back, please. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that yeah, good? Yeah, uh, do a little blending right there. I can see a little product. Perfect. Not to mention, I'm colorblind. So. You are. I forgot about that. Yeah. So this is really good because you're able to see and feel at least the routine of doing this. Yeah. And obviously, you can go to your favorite makeup store and get the shades that you need. And this was down. Yep, so you're gonna go side to side and blend down and out. Good job. I'm gonna sip while you do that. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers to me. Mm -hmm. Getting it right. Absolutely. Is that good? Yeah, go ahead and blend out the dots on the temples. Okay, all right, you said side to side. Side to side and then you can blend up. Yes. How do you know which way to go? Like, I, See, is I like there to, a method to that? I like to break up the face in different quadrants, right? So if I'm working in here, I'm gonna go side to side and maybe blend down. Obviously, because if I'm working through here, side to side and blend up, if I'm working in the under eye area, but if I'm trying to do like the parameters of my face, I'm gonna work out. So that way it thins itself out and I'm not having like a full mask. You gotcha. can still see like skin. And the same thing through here, like blending up and towards the oh. hairline so it starts to thin itself out. That way you don't have like hard line gotcha. around your hairline, especially if you want to keep it a little bit more natural. What about this? Because you don't want to be clocked. All right, so and since it's closer to your beard, go side to side and blend up. Like that? Yep. Perfect. So you want to blend so you don't see it anymore. Good job. Perfect. Your skin looks good, it's coming together. 
Ah, so next up is concealer. So okay. one of the things that I love about a good concealer um, is especially if you're concealing under the eye, the under eye area. One of the things I love about concealing is super important is that if you're concealing under the under eye area, we normally have shadows that exist here that are cooler, meaning like gray tone colors. So you want to switch the undertone of your concealer to something that's going to be a little bit more peachier, a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. especially if your um, general undertone for your skin is a little bit cooler. So like for example, you have a cooler undertone. If you had a warmer undertone, you would probably just use the same um, undertone, except maybe a shade lighter, right? Okay. Um, but we have a peachier color. And so what you're going to do, same formula, long wearing. I like to dot on and where you see the darkness the most. So start inner. So we're going to do three dots. So one, two, and three, right? Mm. Here. Yep. Here. Perfect. Here. Perfect. Okay. So the reason why I like three is it keeps it from looking overly made up. And you want the majority of the product inner because that's where the origin of the color and the depth is existing, right? Mm -hmm. So now I like to use a fluffy brush to buff and blend because I want it to be seamless, traceless, and not noticeable. Okay. So grab your fluffy brush. Ooh. This is good. Wait, wait, wait. There are two brushes here. He said fluffy brush. There is. Which one do you... How do you know which one to use for what? Really, sir? You don't hit the underneath the dye area. <laughs> this whole big brush, he wants to stick up here to try to... I mean, you could, but look how big that is. You're going to poke yourself in the eye. But I get it. Most people won't know. This is great for powder. We're going to save this brush for uh -huh. later, right? Because it's big. Guys, you would need to know this. You want a big uh, powder brush for all over the face. Okay. But because we're underneath the under eye area, this is the perfect size for the under eye area. And what I like to do is if I'm doing makeup in general and I need to kind of determine what size brush I need, I'll do a finger test, right? Okay. And so for the finger test, I will like determine is it a one finger, two finger, three finger motion. And then once I determine the area that I'm working on, obviously this is one finger, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll find a brush that's like one finger. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so here's the motion. You're going to start inner. And you're going to follow and connect the dots and you're going to continue to go side to side and you're going to bring it up stopping slightly underneath the lash line because you want still a, some of that natural shadow that exists here to peek through especially okay. on a man because you want it to look really natural gotcha let's try this start there yeah uh -huh. I have this fear of going in my eye. <laughs> if do you, you find, do you... <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you had a fear just now. <laughs> you got so like stuck just now. <laughs> All right, so if there's you... something about if you're not used to having something coming to your eye, you're kind of like, wait, 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 what's, what's happening? happening? What's happening? Right. So you can actually do circular motions now that you have the product okay. connecting. Circular motions will help to kind of buff and diffuse. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, this feels way less intrusive. Good. So we're gonna just start and connect. Voila, there you have it. Mm. Your skin looks really good. <laughs> Ow. All right, so what do you think has to happen now that we have your skin on? Would you do anything else? Mm, so normally, I just think about when I'm filming regularly, mm -hmm. I'll probably put some powder on. Okay, we can do powder. We won't do powder yet, but what I love is grooming the brows. So oh. I love a good like clear mascara. I, I don't do that at all. Really? And you have such good brows. Groom I like them nice and thick, but I don't I don't really do anything. So if you take like a clear brow set and groom your brows, you can kind of like 
push your brows up, which creates a little bit of a lift. Mr. AKA, I want Botox. You can kind of get that effect with this. <laughs> it kind of tames your brows as well. Okay. Makes it look really groomed. There's no color deposited. And you can also cheat and use it on your lashes as well if you kind of want to separate them out. And just have, again, colorless, but just have a little bit of definition. Okay. So go ahead and brush through and comb up. And so while you're doing that, I'm going to take a little sip. <laughs> so he said a brush like this. Through. Yep. Through. And then up. comb up. Perfect. Okay, so pause. Before you do the other side, just look at the difference between just kind of shaping and sculpting your brow a little bit more. I do. I see it. It polishes yeah. the look. And what is this? It's a brow set. It's a clear brow set. It's like a brow gel. So you're gonna brush through and comb up. And for those that have bushy or thicker brows like I do, I will work my way in, then back, and then I comb up just to get it on the root of the, my brow hairs as well. Cause my hairs are so this looks neater. tough. Yeah. It does look neater. Hmm. You know. All right. So you wanna sip and see the next step? Yes. You ready to sip? So our next step is adding a little bit of a lip balm, just so the lips look slightly hydrated, not overly glossy, but there's nothing worse than having dry lips. Okay? I hate that. Nobody wants to talk to somebody with some dry chap lips, Crap. child, or super wet because you've been licking your lips all day like LL Cool J. There's only one person in the world who can get away with licking his lips all day. <laughs> LL Cool J. Okay, so let's finish up with a little lip conditioner on your pointing finger. Just, oh wait, they can't see. All right, so just a little bit. Start in the center and just rub it in. Yes, get the hydration on. Mm -hmm. They look nicely hydrated, right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now it's time for our last step, which is powder. Okay. So I only I always say powder where you need it. And especially if you want to really look traceless in terms of having makeup on, then do a clear powder, like something translucent. If you want just that polished, finished look, you could do a powder with a little bit of color, no coverage. Um, so what are you in the mood for? You want something traceless or you want something with a pinch of color? Mm. What do you suggest? Well, because of you know you being on camera, I would do something with a little bit of color. Okay. So I have like just a little bit of tinted blot powder. Use your fluffy brush and in the air, he's, he's like, it's fluffy, I'm ready. Um, only in the areas where you need it. So I would say just through the center of the forehead, maybe do it on the top of your head okay. and just around the nostrils is kind of where oil has a tendency to pull and you'll be good. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, you want to look casket ready. All right, perfect, right. you are doing it right. Okay. Awesome. Go for it. Go to, you, want some, you want a little bit more? That's a lot of head you have. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Perfect. Awesome. And you are done. Richie Sky, how you like it? Hey, I feel like I look good. I feel like you look great. This is, looks really great for your and videos. Natural. Yeah, and natural. Because I think that's the thing for me. I always wanted to look. I've had, I've done things where I've had makeup artists do so much stuff to me. And I'm like, I don't, I don't look, look like myself. This. No, I don't look like yeah. the same person. Yeah. And so I just always want to look like me. I agree. I feel like you look like your authentic self. I feel like this works and translates well if you are recording a video. Mm -hmm. And we can even go out to brunch and this still would look well and non-clockable, right? Or unclockable. Mm -hmm. Ow. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you felt like you learned. I did. I hope you sit and see how to execute this look and many more. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications to sip and see for future videos. Cheers to you. Clink, clink, clink. Clink, clink, clink.